The James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, is one of humanity's greatest scientific achievements. Think of it as a giant golden eye in space, peering deep into the universe's past. Its mission to see the first stars and galaxies formed after the Big Bang. Webb is a time machine. Because light takes time to travel, it shows us galaxies as they were billions of years ago. Built by NASA, ESA, and CSA, it's the result of thousands of brilliant minds. Its massive gold-coated mirror and infrared vision let it see through cosmic dust, revealing stellar nurseries and exoplanets. Unlike Hubble, Webb orbits far from Earth at the L2 point, where it stays cold and stable, shielded from the sun's heat. This cold is crucial for detecting faint infrared signals from the distant universe. Webb isn't just about pretty pictures. It's searching for the building blocks of life and helping us answer the biggest questions. Where did we come from? Are we alone? Every image is a piece of the cosmic puzzle, bringing us closer to understanding our place in the universe. With Webb, we're not just looking at space. We're looking back in time. In 2017, astronomers discovered something extraordinary, an object from another star system passing through ours. Detected in Hawaii and named Oumuamua, meaning messenger from afar, it was the first confirmed interstellar visitor. Unlike anything seen before, Oumuamua entered at a steep angle, moving at nearly 200,000 miles per hour. Instead of being captured by the sun's gravity, it sped up and shot back into deep space, puzzling scientists. Its brightness changes suggested a bizarre shape, maybe cigar-like, maybe pancake-flat, unlike any known asteroid or comet. It had no visible tail, so it didn't fit the usual comet profile, but its acceleration didn't match an asteroid either. Was it an asteroid, a strange comet, or something else? The mystery made Oumuamua a cosmic celebrity. We could only observe it briefly before it vanished, leaving us with more questions than answers. It was like finding a message in a bottle from another world, one we couldn't open. Oumuamua reminded us the universe is full of surprises. Pa, when Oumuamua was discovered, astronomers raced to observe it before it disappeared. Telescopes like Hubble and Spitzer tried to gather data, but Oumuamua was small, dark, and moving fast just a faint point of light. They measured its brightness and trajectory, but couldn't get a clear image, like trying to read a license plate on a speeding car at night. Hubble and Spitzer were pushed to their limits. Spitzer found nothing in infrared, deepening the mystery. Within weeks, Oumuamua faded from view, leaving only indirect evidence, light curves, trajectory data, and a lack of a visible coma. Scientists were frustrated. They'd found the first interstellar object, but couldn't see it clearly. The encounter exposed the limits of our technology. It made astronomers dream of a future telescope powerful enough to capture such fleeting, mysterious visitors. Oumuamua's brief visit was a historic moment, but it left us wanting more. The need for better tools was clear. The James Webb Space Telescope changed the game for observing objects like Oumuamua. Webb's superpower is its sensitivity to infrared light, perfect for spotting cold, faint objects in deep space. Its giant mirror collects more light than any previous space telescope, allowing it to see farther and in greater detail. Webb's location at L2 keeps it cold and free from Earth's atmospheric interference, giving it a crystal clear view. Its sunshield blocks heat, letting its instruments cool to near absolute zero, essential for detecting faint heat signatures. Webb's advanced instruments like NERCAM and MIRI can capture sharp images and analyze light in ways never before possible. For Oumuamua, these tools could turn a faint dot into a resolved image. The combination of sensitivity, resolution, and location made Webb the perfect telescope for this challenge. With Webb, astronomers could finally hope to see Oumuamua in detail. It was the breakthrough needed to study interstellar visitors up close. Webb opened a new window to the unknown. Capturing Oumuamua with Webb took incredible planning and precision. By 2025, Oumuamua was billions of miles away far beyond Pluto. Astronomers used old tracking data and computer models to predict its path, narrowing down where Webb should look. Using NERCAM, they took long exposure images of the predicted area, searching for a moving dot among the stars. After careful analysis, they spotted a faint pixel moving exactly as predicted, a triumphant rediscovery. But finding it was just the start. The next challenge was to resolve its shape. They used Webb's full mirror and advanced techniques to boost resolution, combining data for the sharpest possible image. Long observations collected precious photons from the distant object. Powerful computers processed the data, 
sharpening the image and revealing details invisible to previous telescopes. The result, the first clear picture of an object from another star system, it was a triumph of science and technology. Webb turned a cosmic mystery into a visible reality. The first real image of Oumuamua from Webb was breathtaking and surprising. It wasn't a cigar or a pancake, but a flattened oblong object, like a squashed stone. About 400 meters long, 200 wide, and only 40 thick, its shape explained the odd brightness changes seen in 2017. The surface appeared dark and reddish, rich in carbon-based molecules, common in the outer solar system. Craters and scars showed a long, violent journey through space. No visible jets or outgassing were found, deepening the mystery of its acceleration. The image ruled out some theories and strengthened others, but didn't solve the puzzle completely. Knowing its size and shape let scientists estimate its mass and density, key clues to its composition. For the first time, we saw a tangible piece of another star system, not just a point of light. The experience was profound and inspiring. With Webb's image, scientists could finally refine their theories about Oumuamua. One leading idea, it's a nitrogen iceberg chipped from a Pluto-like world in another system. Its invisible nitrogen gas could explain the odd acceleration. Another theory, a dark, unusual comet made of materials that don't produce visible tails or with a crust that traps dust. Some suggest a hydrogen iceberg, though it's unclear if one could survive the journey. The most speculative theory, alien technology, a probe or solar sail, as its shape could fit a sail-like object. Most scientists lean toward natural origins, but the artificial idea can't be dismissed without more evidence. The dark cratered surface supports a natural explanation, but the flattened shape and unexplained acceleration keep the debate alive. Each theory has strengths and weaknesses, and the mystery endures. Oumuamua challenges our assumptions about what's possible in the universe. It pushes us to think creatively about planet formation and the potential for life beyond Earth. The debate is far from over. Imaging Oumuamua is more than a single discovery. It's a leap forward for astronomy. For the first time, we have a clear picture of an object from outside our solar system. This opens a new field interstellar archaeology, studying the building blocks of other star systems directly. Oumuamua is no longer a ghost, but a real place we can study. The discovery inspires a new generation of scientists and explorers, reminding us of the mysteries still out there. By analyzing its composition, we learn about the conditions in distant star systems and the diversity of planetary materials. Each interstellar object adds a piece to the puzzle of how planets form and evolve across the galaxy. Webb's success sets a new precedent. Now we know we can find and image these cosmic visitors, Astronomers will be ready for the next one, and Webb will be waiting. We're now active explorers of the galaxy, welcoming messengers from the stars. The universe just got a whole lot bigger and more exciting.